Hi Tamers! Today, we'll be talking about the Skull Hyena Corin. I really love this tem, especially for the Halloween season. There aren't a ton of spooky tems in the game, but Curry's Skull got them a place in the Halloween side park last year. Corin is a mono earth type tem. Their two traits are Skull Helmet and Scavenger. Skull Helmet is a trait exclusive to Corin making them take 25% less damage from melee and mental type moves. It's comparable to Mashuk's parrier trait as far as damage reduction goes, but it's much, much more situational. Corrin's other trait is Scavenger, which heals them for 20% whenever any Tem is knocked out while they're on the field. If you're a fan of Valash, you already know how powerful this trait can be. But compared to Valash, Corrin has higher base HP. If you get a single Scavenger proc, their effective HP becomes even higher than Gul'dur, who has the highest base HP of all Temtem. And the more procs that occur throughout the game, the crazier that number gets. This definitely puts Scavenger above Skull Helmet as far as usefulness goes, but perhaps Skull Helmet will find a niche when the Arbory Island is released, and more melee and mental types flood the meta. Next, let's look at Corrin's base stats. They have very respectable HP, attack, and defense, but their stamina is terribly low. In the current state of the game, you need to invest a ton of stamina TVs or use a stamina gear to be able to actually attack multiple turns in a row on Corrin. This is because, like a lot of Earth Thames, their techniques cost a ton of stamina to use. Stone Ball has a whopping 29 stamina cost. It hits really hard, but Corrin is almost empty after using one. Soil Steam is a little cheaper at 24, but it forces Corrin to run Gravel Bag to even use, so no stamina gear. However, Corrin's stamina issue is helped a bit by its access to Willpower Drain. We'll talk more about this later. To summarize, because of Corrin's good defenses and potentially massive HP pool with the scavenger trait, Corrin best fills the role of a bulky physical attacker or wall. For your moveset, no matter which playstyle you go for, you should always run either Stone Ball or Soil Steam, depending on if you're running Gravel Bag or not, as your main stab move, and Willpower Drain to help offset Corrin's awful stamina stat and potentially overexert threats. For the last two slots, I recommend Stonewall and Earthwave or Sandstorm, depending on if you're running Gravel Bag or not. Stonewall can help further Corrin's bulk or one of their allies, and the team-wide move can help take advantage of Corrin's high damage potential and can secure kills on things like Puppet Master Mix. Other great options would be Goring, a high priority move to secure kills on low health enemies, and Stare if you're running other slow physical attackers and want Corrin to double as a stair support. If you do opt to use Gravel Bag, another option to consider is mixing in extra attacking moves of opposite damage types. For example, you could run Stone Ball and Soil Steam, so if the opponent brings in a Tem that is especially bulky in special defense, you have a physical move to threaten them with. In the same vein, even though Earth Wave has more hold than Sandstorm, it might be worth running that instead just to have a mixed attacker option. Here are some example movesets. For gear, you either want to run Gravel Bag or Fake Beard. If Fake Beard is used by another Tem, Sweatband is okay as well. But Gravel Bag is almost the same value as Sweatband because Soil Steam costs 5 less stamina than Stone Ball anyway. Iron Coating is okay as well, but it's a really greedy option. Unless you're spending every other turn using Willpower Drain, you're going to run out of stamina. And then the damage from Iron Coating won't be that big of a factor. For TV spreads, let's first talk about a bulky attacker build for Corrin. I'd consider this the standard build because we're investing enough TVs into attack to secure kills for Corrin to activate its scavenger trait throughout the game. 499 attack maximizes Corrin's damage, which ensures we get kills to proc scavenger. HP is second highest priority because it increases bulk and how much scavenger heals. Fake Beard lets us skip on any stamina investment, because it allows us to stoneball twice into willpower drain on turn 1 without overexerting. If you're running Gravel Bag, 123 stamina TVs is enough to soil steam twice into willpower drain. Of course, it's a little more efficient to weave Willpower Drain in between every attack, but having that turn 2 flexibility can be important. And then 4 TVs into Special Defense gives us a nice little value point. With this build out of the way, if you wanted to play Corrin as a wall, here are the TVs I'd recommend. Max HP to maximize bulk and scavenger healing, 187 stamina TVs reaches 61, which gives you a lot of freedom to use attacks and buff with Stonewall, especially if you're using Willpower Drain often. 192 Special Defense TVs lets you survive 2 plagues from Volfi, and the rest goes into Defense, which will make defensive buffs like Stonewall scale higher. Here's some tips for playing Corrin. 
Corrin is the bulkiest willpower drain user. This move is so good right now. It might not be as strong when the full game releases and the level cap is raised to 100, but at level 72, it usually absorbs at least a fourth of the target's stamina. Corrin isn't the fastest Tem, but its willpower drain reaches 187 speed without any TV investment, which is much higher than the standard 160 to 170 range that a lot of Tems aim for. So if your opponent isn't careful, they can overexert after you drain them, giving Corrin a reliable tool to stun and damage enemies. Just be careful you don't accidentally use it on a tireless Mashuk. Corrin is a lot more powerful after receiving a defensive buff or two. Try and get Corrin onto a board where they aren't immediately threatened, and then use Stonewall to become a powerful mid-game win condition. With the constant stamina draining and high bulk, the opponent will have trouble finding the damage to knock out Corrin before they start healing up. Here are some good partners for your Corrin. First up is any Tem with Sacrifice. Scavenger and Sacrifice have great synergy, turning the move into a high priority plus 2 plus 2 defensive stat buff and a 20% heal. Kino and Shween are pretty good as far as support Tems go, passing off multiple buffs to Corrin with Protector Trait, Stonewall, Fluid Barrier, and Quartz Shield, making Corrin extra beefy, and then sacrificing before they die to heal them up. I also have to mention Nog Ice. Most of Corrin's moves are one priority, so Deceit Aura turns Corrin into an incredibly fast and dangerous Tem, and Corrin covers Nog Ice's electric and crystal weaknesses, while Nog Ice covers Corrin's melee weakness. And finally, Corrin synergizes well with exhaustion appliers, i.e. energy manipulation, plague users, and mom's lunch carriers. You can quickly drain a ton of stamina from the enemy if you apply exhaustion and willpower drain. Causing the opponent to OX can give a ton of value, and gives Corrin the space it needs to set up buffs and secure kills to heal itself. And that's about it for Corrin! Overall, they're a really cool Tem, with the potential to snowball into an immortal stamina draining tank as long as you give them proper setup. Thanks for watching! My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content for YouTube. If you like this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day.